Hey guys, this is Kelly Heck. I'm a professional photographer located in Tawnytown, Maryland, and I wanted to share something with you that would help me tremendously, but this is how you can help all the amazing businesses around you as well, and it is tagging on social media and backlinks. So let me explain what those are. So let's talk about tags first on social media. Tags allow social media users to engage an individual, business, or an entity with a social profile when they mention them in a post or comment. In Facebook and Instagram, Instagram, tagging notifies the recipient and hyperlinks to the tag profile. Let me break that down. It creates a link that people can click to go directly to a personal page, to a business page, to a group, to an event, anything that has um, a page that you've set up on Facebook. So let's test it out. I'm just going to use a picture of me here. Uh, I actually already added it to test stuff out. So let me just redo that. Boom. There's a picture of me. So there's two things here. We can tag in the comments, but we also want to tag the picture. So let's talk about the comments first. So hi, or hey, <laughs> I'm Kelly. All right, so look, I use the at symbol and what it's doing is it's, it's kind of auto populating some suggestions. I am looking for Kelly Heck. That, when I post it, is gonna be a link to my personal page. So I'm Kelly Heck and I am Kelly Heck, boom, 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 photography. So this is gonna create a link to my business page. And I love cultivated. Boom. This is a great shop in downtown Westminster, Maryland, owned by Taylor Bay Page, the most badass boss babe in town. So I am now doing a post that's going to have a link to my personal page, her personal page, my business page, her business page. What's cool about tags is that I'm not just giving her a little plug. It's actually expanding the reach of my post to some of her audience as well as some of my audience. All right, so now we've got a picture here, right? We can tag the picture. I'm gonna tag me, right? That's me. Something else I can do somewhere on this picture, check this out, it doesn't always work, but I can tag my business. Now I'll look over here. That means when someone looks at this picture, it's gonna know that the picture is of me and it's somehow related to Kelly Heck Photography. This would be so cool if business owners, when they posted pictures that I collaborate on with them for work, could tag me as well. Um, because again, it's gonna expand your audience view a little bit. Plus, I just absolutely love to see where and how you're using your pictures. I love to see what people comment and to see what kind of traction you get from that stuff. So anyway, this is ready to post. The only other things that could make this better is um, say this was a, a group photo or something, but it's a picture of me. I could say that, you know, Tianbe was with me, that we were having a talk. I could go ahead and tag her here and show a list. I can say I want to check in. Maybe I'm checking in in Tawnytown. Maybe I'm checking in at Kelly Heck Photography or Cultivated, or maybe I'm going to Westminster, Maryland, right? So there's a lot of good little things you can do there. Okay, let's go over to LinkedIn, starting a post. All right. I love working with Jenny Utz. So when I post this, just like Facebook, this is going to end up being a link directly to Jenny's LinkedIn page. I can also add a picture. Here's me again. So I can click anywhere to tag. I'm tagging me. Boom. We're done. We already finished it, guys. All right. Over to Instagram. Let's add a picture. Woo, I'm really big. But over here in the caption is where we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna say, I am Kelly Heck, right? So obviously in these examples, I'm I'm tagging me. I don't wanna um, throw anyone else's picture out there necessarily for this, but I can tag all kinds of other businesses. Let's see if we can find us, 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 us. I know Kevin, that's Jenny's dad. We can do that. Um, so anyway, this would be ready to post. I could add a location, which actually does help, especially if you have a geographic focused reach. Um, so that is all about tagging. Do it, do it, do it. What is a backlink though? So say uh, you have some of my pictures, you wanna give me credit on social media, but what do you do on your website? You do a backlink. A backlink is an incoming hyperlink from one web, web page to another web page. So what that means is if I come in to, let me go to like uh, the blog. We're gonna just pick a blog post I did recently and we're gonna throw an image in. Let's look at this one all about using Zoom and Google Hangouts and stuff and how to look your best. So I am going to 
edit this page. Da -da -da -da, it's going to load. Essentially what we're going to do is um, I'm going to say just really easy. We're going to throw an image up at the top of this. So this is a WordPress platform. If you guys have never played in WordPress, really, really easy to use, but it's pretty complicated. Um, but anyway, so you add a picture, right? You got this thing called alt text. Alt text is alternative text. It tells the search engines what your image is about so that the search engines can do image indexing when people search for stuff. So it's how your images kind of pop up in the search engine. So I could just say that this is Kelly Heck, photographer in Tawny Town, Maryland. Boom. And I get there's a typo in there, but I'm not worried about that right now. All right. Two things for backlinks. A backlink essentially is just that you're linking to me. But say this was um, a picture of um, Tiambe at her shop, right? So let me go to Cultivated Shop Westminster. Boom. Da -da -da -da. Oh, hold on. That's your Facebook page. But it still works, right? Um, I'd prefer you go to my website, though. It's a little bit better because that's really the end zone. Everything, Everything's pointing to your website if you have a website. Doesn't matter what it is. So I'm going to say, all right, I can put a link on this picture. Now, there's something I want to pay attention to, though, right? I want this link to open in a new tab because when people click on it, they're going to leave my website. It's an external link, guys. But what's really awesome, even better than having the image linked to something, because some people might not be used to that, is to say, photo credit Kelly Heck Photography. And then what you're going to do is grab that text and you're going to put HTTP colon or S colon slash www.kellyheckphotography.com. Boom. And you are done. So this would be something that helps me a lot, guys. It's going to help me so much. The tagging on social media is going to help expand the audience so that when we get past this challenge, I'm going to have a little bit of a broader reach. And the backlinks help my, uh, my website rank a little bit higher in the search engines. There's a whole lot of factors that come into search engine optimization. We often call it SEO, but linking to credible sources around you in different websites, it helps give value and trust to your website. And Google and the other search engines see that and they help give you a little push up in those rankings. So if you watch this to the end, I hope you learned something really valuable, not just about helping me out by giving credit, but how to do things for all the amazing businesses around you. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, send me an email, send me a text, give me a call. My email is kelly at kellyheckphotography.com. Thank you so much, so much for listening. Again, tag all of your social media posts as much as you can and give those backlinks from your website to other websites.